Excuse Yo, this man breaking. No, get him out. Yo, there's no, if Link wins this, bro, I'm not going to say I'm going to delete my channel, but hey. Two of the most predominant characters in the growth and development of Big Holler, all right? I got Orcarina of Time. I'm literally about to play it again. I went to go get my N64 from my mom's house. About to go, about to play that. Final Fantasy VII, greatest Final Fantasy ever. You know what I'm saying? Some people try to say nine. Some people say ten. Move those to the side. Put Cloud right up front, okay? Let's see who like, wins this death battle. The courageous and determined hero. It's got to be Cloud, though. He got materia, bro. Like, what, what he going to do? Play the orc arena and do something? Man, get out of here. Of Hyrule. Cloud strength. Sword swinging, spanky haired, Sephiroth slayer. Each are powerful warriors in their own right, but in a fight to the death, which one will win? He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In the land of Hyrule was a hero mm. so great, even a goddess favored him. Destined to wield the Triforce of Courage, he fought for his people until his dying breath. Facts. Moreover, he was chosen to be reincarnated through time to continue defending against evil. This hero's name was Link. Link. Since Link's spirit had been reborn over and over, technically that means most Links are kind of the same guy. It's a real Link to the past. <laughs> Which is probably why he's so skilled with Bro, I think Zelda Zelda the Super Nintendo was the very first game I ever owned. Got that in the crib too. Different weapons, like his Hylian shield, and of course, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is no ordinary blade. Infused with sacred energy, it is evil's bane incarnate, mm. capable of destroying magical barriers, dispelling curses, and slaying immortal monsters. But nothing's more badass than its laser beams and skyward strike. He can even charge it with lightning. You like that, Link Link? Link <laughs> carried hammers, clubs, spears, Rylan was good. and his talent with a bow is second to none. He has fire, ice, and shock arrows, and his light arrows possess holy magic. But the ancient Holy arrows magic. instantly consign foes to oblivion. Appearing to now, I haven't played Zelda since Twilight Princess, though, so I don't know what the power rank it might be. But I'm still going with Cloud on this one. Transport them to Matter of fact, can somebody put a poll in the chat? Cloud versus Link. Another dimension, or crush them into nothingness. And these souped-up weapons have come in handy. Link's had his fair share of tussles defending the world from foes like Ganon, Vati, and Majora. Link mm. has survived rolling through lava, and while wearing the Golden Gauntlet or Titan's Mitts, been strong enough Facts. to lift stone weighing well over 10,000 tons. And the Four Sword lets him split up into copies of himself. Talk about multitasking. With the Ocarina of Time, Link can summon storms, teleport across the land, and even travel through time with song. You said Twitch allows artistic nudity now. Listen, y'all about to see the meat swinging everywhere. Just know, uh, it was it was uh, it's for art. <laughs> Some of that doesn't hold a candle to the Sheikah sleep. That thing can set remote bombs, move objects magnetically, and totally stop time for things. And it can summon his master cycle zero. Motorcycles are all well and good, but his sailcloth is certainly a more elegant way to move around. So he's got a lot of cool stuff, but sometimes he's got to get sneaky about it. While he may be tough, Link can't always win fights with brute force. His claw shots mm. are perfect for maneuvering around the environment, and his magic cape can turn him invisible. I can think of a lot of ways that would come in handy. Well, let's like see. what? Like dummy. what? Uh, dummy. This cloud versus Link. <laughs> Got ya. You know, Link's weapons are very effective against sassy robots. Ooh, you can't see me coming now, can ya? Ha! Hey, why didn't you get hit? Uh, right, the magic cape also turns Link intangible. Hmm. Huh. Well, guess there's no punch line. Anyway, did you know Link's fast enough to roll away from Beamos lasers? Which are actual light beams. They burn things, move in a straight line, and the guide says they're lasers, so... There! As you can see, <laughs> Link can dodge this laser at the moment it's fired. Given the distance between the two and the time frame, he would have to be moving two feet in just under two billionths of a second. Mm. About a tenth the speed of light. Now that's a reason to say, excuse me, princess. Because <laughs> if he didn't, no one would get out of the way in time. But one item Link has isn't simply a mere vehicle to increase his speed or strength. The Triforce of Courage, a holy relic that offers mystic power to its bearer. 
including protection from transmutation. He's got some other spells too, like for shield. I feel like that has no, uh, the 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 power scale is nowhere close to materia, bro. Listen, Cloud pop in that night to the round table. Link is out of here, bro. He's gone. Thing and healing and his fairy spell lets him literally just turn into a fairy. Oh, look at him. He's all tiny and he can fly around. <laughs> Get the fly sweater. Link's also been granted magic by great fairies and spirits of past Hylian champions. Mifa's grace can even revive him to full health after death. And if all this wasn't enough for him True. to just trash his opponents, Link's known to carry around I'll a show your pecker on stream. We might While have to. he usually has a limited supply of magical energy, a single bottle of Chateau Romani gives him unlimited magic for three whole days. That's nothing compared to his mask. These masks oh, not only yeah. change his physical form, but give him unique abilities. Like how his Goron mask is... Bruh, if they talk about the freaking Link mask on here... Bro, when you beat this, when you like do each mask and complete it before you go in the thing, they give you like the ultimate mask. What is it called? I forgot. But that link might give uh, Cloud some problems. I ain't gonna lie. Increases his strength. He can even roll so fast he catches fire. But the fierce deity mask yep. is the best. It basically transforms him into a dark god, 10 feet tall and 100% terrifying, with inhuman strength mm. and the impossible what game is this? sword. Fierce deity Link could easily overpower Majora, who pulled the moon into the planet with enough force to destroy a continent and cause planet-wide destruction. Facts. Well, sounds like he's got everything he needs to defend Hyrule. I mean, if you're chosen by a goddess, you gotta do what she says, right? With the boy clad in green committed to the cause, Hyrule can breathe easy knowing it's defended by such a worthy champion. Mm. I'm not bald, man. I got waves. On the planet Gaia, run by the Shinra conglomerate, yep. one young man wanted to be a strong protector of others, just like his hero, Sephiroth, the elite member of Soldier. And, and let's be honest, Sephiroth is giving Ganondorf the business, all right? The business. Sephiroth, the greatest, one of, one of the greatest. Sephiroth and Thanos, top two, facts. This was Cloud Strife. The troops of Soldier are awesome! They get badass paramilitary weapons and get to cast magic from Materia. Materia is a byproduct of the life stream, an energy source that runs through the world. Green Materia casts offensive spells, yep. blues for supportive spells, and yellow has commands. And but red the most powerful. Yes, sir. They can summon giant monsters. Hold on, what about purple? What about hey, you gotta throw them purple ones in there? Listen, listen. He throw in them HP pluses. Come on, bruh. H MP plus, yo, get Link out of here. He's done. He's finished. No wonder Cloud wanted to be a part of Soldier so bad. I'd want to too if I could have a giant dragon god as a pet. This is Muhammad Fury, among the most powerful summons in Final Fantasy history, capable of annihilating a moon, a feat worth over 140 exatons of TNT. Which mm. Cloud totally survived after he made it into the Soldier program without any problems whatsoever. Nope, <laughs> none at all. Is this too much foreshadowing? Uh, Cloud's time as a soldier mercenary was, well, it never happened. Despite exactly. his own memories saying <laughs> otherwise, Cloud actually failed to join the program at all. All right, bear with me here. See, Cloud had a friend, a first-class soldier named Zack Fair. They went through a bunch of wacky adventures together, then got kidnapped by some weird cultists who injected them with alien DNA and Marco yep. energy that supercharged them. It's a long story. Time and time again, Zack came to Cloud's rescue. Until one Until day, Until they got the that boy. Would be his final act. Out in the desert. But before he <laughs> fell, he gifted Cloud his big old buster sword. Hey, what's a sword between bros? Especially when Zack had been there for Cloud so much in the past. Like how Zack was the one who helped Cloud adjust to the fact that he had never become a member of Soldier. Or how Cloud hadn't been the one who took the moon exploding either. That was Zack all along. Cloud's own history had affected him so much that he unintentionally took Zack's as his own. Jeez, sounds like he needs to do some heavy self-reflection. Cloud struggled with confidence ever since he was rejected from the soldier program. That hey, let's relax, let's relax. From being not, too, not too much on Cloud, man, not too much on Cloud. Napped, experimented on, and watching his best friend die, fractured his sense of self. 
You know, Cloud not being who he said he was reminds me of someone, Wiz. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, like how you faked your identity to avoid paying all those student loans and Homeland Security is still looking for you. And... Uh, Facts. Hey, did Bro, you... I forgot it. Yo, my man, boy, put haste. Bro, what are we talking about, man? What are we talking about? No, despite that how... man equipped death blow, Link is out of here. How the game works, Cloud can use materia without a weapon. Isn't that neat? Anyway, realizing his memories were faulty sparked Cloud's journey of self-repair. Though he had failed to become part of Soldier, he probably shouldn't have, because he's been in many, many fights just as, if not more impressive than those of Zack's resume. Mm. Remember that awesome dragon? He beat him! Bahamut's super strong, but also fast enough to fly between planets in seconds. Hell, Cloud can even fly too! I guess, more like he's able to jump hundreds of yards up and... Omni Slash! What are we doing? And lunge around. Yeah, it's basically flight. He can also use spirit energy for super attacks called limit breaks, like the classic Omni Slash. Come on, he's also man. Worn several different types of gear over the years, but the one he's consistently kept is a certain ribbon which defends him from the majority of status effects, excluding time manipulation. He's dodged bullets, lasers, and. Oh, I should have. Not, not a pole. What was I going to. What did him. The. the what is it when you bet your channel points? We need one of them, man. We need one of them. Electric attacks. He's casually sliced buildings in half, can cast literal nuclear explosions with his flare materia, and he even beat that handsome devil Sephiroth. I don't know how Sephi survived being impaled by a sword that's literally wider than he is, but <laughs> I've got to kick his ass multiple times. Even coming face to face with Sephiroth's ultimate attack, Supernova. Along nice. the way, Cloud also destroyed Shinra. That's one way to get back at the folks who refuse to hire you. Oh, and he got an even cooler sword, too. Get rid of that sentimental Buster sword, Buster, because the fusion sword isn't here to play. Nice. With the fusion sword came a new version of Cloud. One who'd worked hard to resolve his personal issues and overcame any foe, mental or physical, in his way. So all that, on top of beating Sephiroth three whole uh, times, King James came in here Cloud swinging, boy. One hell of a fight. Despite Cloud's frustrating start as a young man with unattainable dreams, he grew up to become far more than he could have imagined. After saving the world more than once, Cloud Strife deserves the hype. Stay where you belong. In my memories. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all okay. possibilities. But first, if you want to last as long in bed as Lincoln Cloud do fighting gods, check out Blue Chew. Yo, yo, link in description. Okay, here we go. Let's get it. Oh, Cloud got home home field advantage too. We in the reactors? Great. They don't even got motorcycles in, in Link's thing. They don't even got car. Do they got car? They don't got car. They got a boat and they got horses. That's it. Huh? Okay. That boy better get up. He better get up. Excuse Yo, this man breaking. No, get him out. Yo, there's no, if Link wins this, bro, I'm not going to say I'm going to delete my channel, but hey. Who's me? <laughs> Okay. Hey, 
Hey yo. Kai just went live, man. Didn't the sword go in a little portal? Come on now. Blood think he Thor, bro. No, you're not. No, no. I I'm already not liking this. My man then casted lightning one time. I know you got more MP than that. Y your HP was at 9,000. I know you got to be at least like level 72, level 75, which means your MP should be like 600. Listen, I put in way too many hours on Final Fantasy 7. I know. All right? I know. Now it's your chance. Come on now. Fire. Let's move the asshole. Oh, we active. We active. We active. 300 HP. Ain't no way Link did that much damage, bro. There's no way. There's no death battle. Y'all need to relax. All right? Calm down right now. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, I tried to tell y'all y'all didn't believe me, bro. They didn't believe me. God did. You know what I'm saying? Now, if that freaking fairy brings him back to life, I'm done with this video. Nothing to it. Hey, of course. Oh, it's Link that it was time to split too soon. Yeah. Link had an incredibly versatile arsenal available to him, given the abilities he had from his various weapons and masks. And with stuff like the Sheikah Slate and Ocarina, the guy had so much to throw at Cloud that he could have easily gotten overwhelmed. Even with that against him, Cloud could match much of Link's arsenal with both his materia and superhuman ability. Link mm. may have won a few fights with his time stop, but so would Cloud. For our purposes of determining who would win the most often, these essentially cancel each other out. Link's Master Sword and Triforce of Courage helped him counter some of Cloud's materia. Like, he wasn't getting turned into a toad or anything, but Cloud's ribbon could do a oh, lot of true. the same, especially against those fire, ice, and shock arrows. Since both had multiple ways to counter each other's more magic-based moves, and both had incredible healing spells, this mm. really came down to their base. Regain? Abilities. Like how Link dodging lasers put him at a tenth the speed of light, but Cloud kept up with Bahamut, who flew between planets in 12 seconds. Since this looks like Neptune, and considering Gaia is a stand-in for Earth, the distance between them would be 4.3 billion kilometers. To travel That's crazy. that distance in 12 seconds means Bahamut Fury flew at least 1,200 times the speed of... Come on, man. And they wanted to put Link, 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 Link. I done put in mad hours on Orcarina at a time, too. All right? You a GOAT. They said you're the highest rated game of all time. Orcarina at a time. I think you deserve it. 99 out of 100. But beating Cloud, you're done. You're done. Of light. So while Link was smart, had more experience, and has fought foes faster than him before, Cloud could literally run circles around him without him noticing. Link's strength and power were nothing to scoff at, especially when scaled to Majora pulling the moon into a planet and destroying a continent. Just like Supernova. That would take an energy equivalent to over 60 exatons of TNT. 
However, Cloud was strong enough to endure similar attacks and return the favor in a devastating way. Like how he survived Zephyroth's supernova attack. Guidebooks confirm that the supernova <laughs> is a blast that destroys dimensional space. Technically, it occurs in another dimension where the entire solar system is annihilated, with Cloud standing right there. It sounds crazy, but this means he can literally survive a sun exploding in his face. Mm. I mean, it really messed him up, but still, it's a goddamn sun. Lynx never <laughs> had to deal with something of that magnitude before. The hero of Hyrule put up an admirable fight and could certainly win in a few different ways. But Cloud's speed, strength, and powerful limit breaks meant that, more often than not, his victory was assured. Link tried force, but against Cloud, he it had... It was unsuccessful. G no way out. The winner is Cloud Strife. That's the first half of our 10th anniversary season. Just Bro, Cloud versus Link, I needed this. Majoro, I mean Majoro. <laughs> Ganondorf versus Dracula. Hey, hey. Vegeta versus Gogeta. Hey, child, we might be on death battles. We might be on death battles for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Look, these two games raised me, bro. I got Final Fantasy VII on my game in PC. I got my N64. I didn't bring it. If I can figure out how to stream the N64, chat, listen, we will do a stream-a-thon, and I'm going to stream until I beat the game. My girlfriend's leaving for five days, all right? Which means the stream's about to go crazy. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K high lie, chilling Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama.